Welcome, Welcome to Going, Going Steady. Steady. Thank you so much for clicking on our video. Today we will be sharing with you some scriptural resources that you can use to identify and find true love. Now we're not relationship experts or anything, but as we learn and discover new things in our relationship, we decided to share them with you. We live in a world where it seems like true love is hard to find. While this may be true for some people, there are those out there who are enjoying true love in their relationship. Now, if you would love to learn how to experience this true love, please keep watching this video because we're going to be sharing with you several scriptures that will help you to find true love. And this way, you won't get stuck in a loveless relationship. So if this is your first time watching and you want to learn how to form and maintain healthy relationships, hit that subscribe button. If this is not your first time watching, it, it's about time you hit it. So let's get right into the video. John 14 verse 15, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Someone who loves you will respect and honor your wishes as long as they're morally sound. 1 John 3 verse 18, little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. If he or she loves you, their actions will tell you. So pay close attention to what they do. And if you want to know what those actions should look like, you can click this link right here. John 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Where there is love, there is sacrifice. 1 John 4 verse 8, Whoever does not know God does not know love, because God is love. If he or she does not know God, it is likely, like 100% likely, that they don't know what true love is and therefore cannot give it to you. So that person is not your true love. Ephesians 5 verse 28. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loves the church and gave himself up for her. Men should know that they are called to love their wives just as Christ loves the church, his bride, and sacrifice himself for her. Now, sacrificing doesn't always mean dying. You might have to give up something you love that may be potentially harmful to the relationship. However, if it comes to giving your life up for hers, ask yourself, what would Jesus do? 1 Peter 4 verse 8 Above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sin. True love should put every effort into loving you, especially in difficult times or when there's an issue. 1 John 4 verse 19, we love because he first loved us. Love cultivates love. If you are doing all the loving and you're getting nothing in return, then you're the only one practicing true love. Romans 12 verse 10, be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Your true love must be committed to you and put you first above themselves. Proverbs 18 verse 22, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and receives favor from the Lord. But seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Matthew 6 verse 33. Be delighted when you meet someone who has been, like you, truly seeking the things and the righteousness of God because you can be confident that God has brought you two together. Psalm 37 verse 4. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. When you find pleasure in the Lord, it usually means that your desires are in line with his, and therefore you will be accomplishing God's will for your life as it relates to finding true love. Well, there you have it. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit like on the video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But there's one more thing that we would like to leave with you guys, and that is that true love is not a person. It is what a person can possess and is shown in their character by what they do. If you have any other verses that you would like to add to our list, feel free to add them down below in the comment section. And we are always open to your questions. If you write them down below or even send us an email at keepongoingsteady at gmail.com. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at keepongoingsteady and on Facebook at keepongoingsteady. So that's all we have for you today. Until next time. Keep going steady.